Well, good morning and welcome to our service today. I do hope we find you all well and in good health. This is the, the latest in our series of services online. We're doing them every week at the moment. Though, of course, we are looking forward to the time when we can meet again in church. That will be absolutely wonderful, won't it? Um, but the end is in sight. There is hope. So hopefully in the summer we'll be able to meet. But as I keep saying, we are still church, even though we're, we're meeting remotely. We are still church. So we meet today to, to worship the Lord on this second Sunday of Lent. So I've used a, a variety of media this week. I just sort of wanted to say a couple of words about that. Um, Psalm 51 on YouTube. It's a lovely clip and I really wanted to use it, but it might come up with adverts. If it does, just click on that little arrow and get rid of the advert as soon as you can so it sort of doesn't distract you from the worship. As I say, apologies, but it, it was a really nice clip and I wanted to use it. The other thing is PowerPoint. I discovered how to record on PowerPoint, which was quite a breakthrough, I must say. Um, so I've, I've recorded the creed with me reading it, and I'm not sure how it will come up on the YouTube. I don't know whether it will automatically play me reading it through, or whether you might need to click on my picture in the bottom right hand uh, corner of the, the screen and then it will come up with a toolbar and then at the left hand side there's an arrow which if you press you'll then get the sound or if you don't want my voice you can just read it through by yourself which, whichever you want. And the other thing is um, our Bible reading is from Romans it's chapter 4 verses 13 to the end so Romans 4 13 to the end, as well as Mark uh, chapter 8, 31 to the end. And I don't know whether you usually have the Bible open or not, but I think today I'm going to talk quite a bit about the Romans passage, so it might be helpful for you to have your Bible to hand to have that Romans passage open, because it is quite complicated. Okay. So let's start with an opening prayer. Lord, the love we share with others in this world is only a small reflection of your love for us. It is a spark compared to the light of the sun. This Lenten season, enkindle our hearts so that the fire of our own love for you might grow in intensity and better resemble your love for us. May our lives be flames that make your own light present in the world. Amen. So our theme is about faith, sort of looking at Abraham and his faith and how he's the father of faith. Um, as I said, it's, it's sort of taken from Romans 4. It's about justification by faith, so there's some very encouraging stuff in there. We know that we can trust God because he is unchanging. He is faithful in keeping his promises. So our first hymn reflects that, Great is thy faithfulness. And then following that, we'll have the, the, the YouTube clip of Psalm 91 on eagle's wings. Particularly relevant is the verse, I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Thank you. <laughs> 